Hello, my name is Dr. Linda Gorman, and I'm a neuroscientist. Neuroscience, that's a really big word. But a neuroscientist is a person who knows a lot about the brain. I'm here today to talk to you about how you can make your brain healthy, which means feeling good. It's really easy, and anyone can do it. I love to talk about making your brain healthy because it's spectacular. Spectacular means great. When your brain is spectacular, you're happy and you're healthy. This is a brain fact story. We have to know and understand some things about our brain if we're going to understand how to keep our brain healthy. So if I'm a neuroscientist, then I study the brain. But lately I've been thinking, do I really have a brain? If I study the brain, I need to make sure I have a brain. That's what I need you to help me with. I need you to help me find out if I really do have a brain. So let's think about this. So a neuroscientist studies the brain, but how do I know that I have a brain or you have a brain or any of us has a brain? Hmm, let's see. <gasps> Who is this? This is Denny. Denny is going to help us to learn about facts about the brain. Now, Denny wants to know if Denny has a brain. Let's see. How can we tell if you have something or I have something or Denny has something? If I can see something, that means I have it, right? What do you see with? That's right. You see with eyes. I have eyes. You have eyes. Denny has eyes. So if we can see something with our eyes, that means that we have it. Let's see what we can see with our eyes. Okay, so I have eyes, you have eyes, and Denny has eyes. Let's see what we can see with our eyes. Hmm, if I look down, I see legs. Do you see legs when you look down? Denny, when you look down, do you see legs? I can wiggle my legs if I'm sitting down. I can jump up and down with my legs if I'm standing up. Denny, can you do that? Denny can jump up and down and wiggle his legs too. We can see our legs. So that means that we must have legs, right? So if I can see my legs and I can see Denny's legs and Denny can see Denny's legs and Denny can see my legs, then that must mean we have legs because we can see them. So wait a minute. If we can see something, that means we have it. We can see legs. That means we have legs. So can I see my brain? I'm looking. I can't see my brain. Can you see your brain? Denny, can you see your brain? Well, where is my brain supposed to be? Where am I supposed to be looking for it? I know my legs are at the bottom of my body. I know that my hands are at the ends of my arms. Where is my brain supposed to be? That's right. My brain is supposed to be in my head. Let's see. Okay, so if the brain is supposed to be in my head, but my eyes are in my head, then my eyes can't see my head to see if I have a brain. So I'm gonna need some help. Let's see. If I wanna see my face and my head, what do I need? What can I look into? That's right, Denny. You can look into a mirror. Okay, if I look into a mirror, I can see my head. Denny, can you see your head? Yep, Denny can see Denny's head. Can I see my brain? I can't. What about Denny's brain? Denny, can you see Denny's brain? Denny can't see the brain either. How about you? Do you have a mirror that you can look into to see your head? Do you have a head? Yes, you have a head. How about a brain? Can you see your brain? You can't see your brain either. Oh my gosh, I'm a neuroscientist. I have to have a brain to study the brain, but I can't see a brain. Does that mean that we don't have brains? Okay, let's think about this. We know that our eyes can tell us when we have something because we can see it, but we can't see our brains. So, oh my heavens, does that mean we don't have brains? 
I'm a neuroscientist and a neuroscientist studies the brain. How can I be a neuroscientist and study the brain if we can't see our brain? So the question is, just because we can't see our brains, does that mean we don't have a brain? Okay, let's think about this. This is, I can see with my eyes, this looks like a teddy bear. But you know what? If I closed my eyes and I touched the teddy bear, I'd be able to feel the teddy bear. And just by feeling it, I would know it's a teddy bear. So let's think about this. Okay, so I can see my head, I can see Denny's head, but I can't see my brain and I can't see Denny's brain. But if I can feel something, then I know it's there. Is there something that I cannot see, but I can feel on my body? Whoa, look at that guy. That guy's got lots of what? Muscles, that's right. Muscles are something that I know I have that I know Denny has. And I know that because if I can move my body and if Denny can move Denny's body, that means that there have to be muscles because muscles help your body to move. But I'm looking at my arm right now. Look at your arm right now. Can you see your muscles? I can't either. All right, what I want you to do is if, if I were to put my hand on the top part of my arm and then I were to take my arm and my hand and move it towards my head and then move it away from my head, I can feel something in there. And I know my arm's moving because I can see it moving. What do you think that is in there that we're feeling? That's right, muscles. Denny, I have muscles. And if I took away my skin, like in this picture here, you'd be able to see my muscles. Now, Denny, Denny can't feel Denny's muscles because Denny doesn't have hands and we need our hands to be able to feel something. But Denny can, Denny can see that when I move my arm, just like that muscly person right there, when they're flexing muscles, that means you can actually see your skin move because the muscles are moving. Those are muscles that you have there. And even though we can't see our muscles all the time, we can feel our muscles. And because we can feel our muscles, we know that we have muscles. So we can see our muscles when we move them and we can definitely feel our muscles. So that means we have our muscles. Okay, so if we can feel something, even if we can't see it, that means we have it. I know that my brain is in my head. Denny, you know that your brain is in your head too, but can we feel our brains? Hmm, I'm feeling my head right now. I don't feel a brain. Feel your head right now. Do you feel a brain? Poor Denny, he doesn't have any hands, but if I were to feel Denny's head, I don't think I'd be able to feel Denny's brain. Okay, so I can't see my brain. I can't feel my brain. Oh my heavens, maybe we don't have brains. A neuroscientist studies the brain. How can I be a neuroscientist and study the brain if we can't see or feel our brains? So does that mean, since I can't see my brain or feel my brain, that I don't really have a brain? Okay, Denny, we can't see our brain and we can't feel our brain. So do we really have brains? Um, I'm a neuroscientist and if I'm a neuroscientist, I need a brain to study. What am I gonna do? Hmm, what do you think, Denny? What are we gonna do? Let's think, 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 think. Wait a minute, I may not be able to see my brain. I may not be able to feel my brain, but I have an idea. Okay, Denny, let's think about this. What is a brain supposed to do? Hmm, when we were trying to figure out muscles, 
We couldn't see the muscles, but we, we knew that muscles moved your body. So when we moved our body, our arm, we could feel the muscles. But what's a brain supposed to do, Denny? Let's think, 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 think. Hey, wait a minute. A brain is supposed to think. So if I can think, I must have a brain. Let's try something. I want you to cover your eyes or close your eyes. Denny, no peeking. Now I want you to think about apples. Did everyone think about apples? Did your apples look anything like this? Okay, good. We could all think about apples. If a brain is supposed to think and we could think about apples, even though at first we couldn't see the apples, then we must have a brain because we were able to think and a brain helps you to think. Okay, let's try to think again. Okay, Denny, I want you to think. We need to think if you can add things because if you can add things together, that means you can think. Now, if I say, what is one plus one. What would you say? Think about it, Denny. What would you say? What about you? What would you say? What is one plus one? <gasps> That's right. It's two. We could think about the answer. If a brain is supposed to think and we can think, then we really might have a brain. I'm getting excited. Okay. I have, I have, I want to try one more thing with you and with Denny. If I say A, B, C, D, and then I ask you what comes next, you would say the next letter. So let's try that. A, B, C, D, and what comes next? E, that's right. Denny, did you say E? I couldn't hear you. Yay! We th can think because we, if we know that after D comes E, then we had to use our brain to think. And if we can think, we must have brains. Yay, I'm so happy and Denny's happy and I hope you're happy too because now we know that even though we can't see our brains or we can't feel our brains, we know we can think. And if our brain is supposed to help us think and we can think, then we must have a brain. Thank you all for helping me and Denny figure this out. Now that I know that I have a brain and you have a brain and Denny has a brain, as a neuroscientist, I can study our brains. And what a neuroscientist does is they ask questions and then they try to figure it out. And you know what? All through this story, I've been asking questions and you've been helping me to figure it out. So you know what? That means that you're all neuroscientists too. Denny's happy. Denny likes to be a neuroscientist. So thank you again for helping me today. And if anyone asks you, do you really have a brain? Then you can say, yes, I have a brain because I can think and I need my brain to help me think. So if I can think, I must have a brain. Yay, I'm so happy because again, I'm a neuroscientist. And as a neuroscientist, I need brains to study. And now I know that I really do have a brain. And so do you, so does Denny. I hope you've enjoyed spending time with me today talking about the brain. And I hope you've had some fun and learned something. Because remember, if someone asks you if you really have a brain, even if you can't see it, or feel it, you're using your brain all the time because you're thinking. So we really do have brains. And that's good news for me because I'm a neuroscientist. Thank you so much for all your help. And remember that brain health is not just spectacular, it's fun too. I wanna thank all the people at Johns Hopkins University, especially Dr. Ron Daniels, for helping me to bring these stories about your brain health and how it's spectacular to you.